రై రైమ్ అనే రేసింగ్ కార్లంటే అతనికి చిన్నప్పటి నుంచి మక్కువ అందుకే ఐఐటి బాంబే నుంచి పట్టా పొందిన వెంటనే సొంతంగా కార్ల డిజైన్ పై మనసు పెట్టాడు దేశంలోనే మొదటి ఎలక్ట్రిక్ రేసింగ్ కారును రూపొందించడంలో కీలక పాత్ర పోషించాడు తనే బెంగళూరుకి చెందిన ముదిత్ దంట్వాడే అనుకోని ఘటనలో చేతిని కోల్పోయినా కుంగిపోకుండా తన ఆలోచనలతో పనిచేసే సొంత ఆర్టిఫిషియల్ చేయిని తయారు చేసుకుని ముందుకు సాగుతున్నాడు ప్రస్తుతం డోజీ పేరుతో ఆసుపత్రుల్లో కాంటాక్ట్లెస్ మానిటరింగ్ పద్ధతిని అందుబాటులోకి తెచ్చాడు ఈ నేపథ్యంలో ముదిత్ దంట్వాడేతో ముఖాముఖి ఇది రోగి ఆసుపత్రిలో ఉంటే వాళ్ళ వైటల్స్ని మానిటర్ చేయడం అనేది చాలా కష్టమైన విషయమే అయితే అలాంటి కష్టానికి సులభమైన సొల్యూషన్స్ని తీసుకొస్తూ డోజీ అనే ఒక టెక్నాలజీని అందుబాటులో తీసుకొచ్చారు ముదిత్ ప్రస్తుతం ముదిత్ మనతో ఉన్నారు ఆయన కేవలం డోజీని మాత్రమే కాదు తన ఓన్గా తన ఆలోచన తగ్గట్టుగా పనిచేసే ఒక హ్యాండ్ని ఆర్టిఫిషియల్ హ్యాండ్ని అదేవిధంగా రేస్ కార్స్ని కూడా తను బిల్డ్ చేసినటువంటి ఆయన హిస్టరీ ఉంది ముదిత్ని అడిగి తెలుసుకుందాం మరి వివరాలు ఫస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ఆల్ కంగ్రాచులేషన్ సార్ సో వాట్ ఎగ్జాక్ట్లీ ఈజ్ అబౌట్ డోజింగ్ సో డోజీ ఈజ్ అ కాంటాక్ట్లెస్ రిమోట్ పేషెంట్ మానిటరింగ్ అండ్ ఏఐ బేస్డ్ ఎర్లీ వార్నింగ్ సిస్టమ్ దిస్ ఈజ్ బిల్డ్ టు ఎన్హాన్స్ పేషెంట్ సేఫ్టీ అండ్ బ్రింగ్ ఇట్ టు ఎవ్రీ పేషెంట్ బెడ్ సో హౌ మెనీ హాస్పిటల్స్ హ్యావ్ బీన్ ఇన్ టచ్ విత్ యూ అండ్ హౌ మెనీ ఆర్ యూ ఆర్ వర్కింగ్ విత్ దమ్ So right now more than uh, 200 hospitals across the country are today using Dozy and this is this number is growing very rapidly why, why just India right and in fact this is a global concept now with all the global certifications and accreditations we have also launched this in United States and we are also looking to take this product in a global scale as well have you got this idea of getting this contactless uh, Dozy where I used to monitor health of the race cars using vibrations using different technologies and during that time i had an unfortunate incident in my family where we nearly lost a family member to a poor monitoring uh, in a hospital and that's what got me thinking that you know here i am using a technology to make cars faster what will it really take to build uh, something that can you know enhance patient safety in every patient bed so that any patient uh, wherever right be it even icu step down so even outside as well right they are under continuous monitoring and if at all any patient goes into red flag zone we can highlight that early to the healthcare providers nursing staff clinicians and so that you know timely actions can be taken and lives can be saved over there you are there in building up uh, first uh, electric race car can you please share that story Yeah uh, so India's first electric race car was indeed built by uh, my team uh, as a part of so we had a racing team called IIT Bombay Racing and in that we uh, took up this entire very uh, challenge in our hand almost 12 years back uh, we built this electric uh, car which was fully electric and this was India's electric, first electric race car as well when you are shifting your complete career to some extent to another so what exactly your thought what you like so they'll always answer one thing that you know they like as in at least that was the case with me uh, like if you ask any kid today right given the success of isro they'll all say that you know we want to build rockets right like that i was always fascinated by cars uh, growing from a small town right i used to think that you know that is the ultimate marvel of engineering and that is what i used to cherish right and while i got to build that started thinking what are the other translations of these technologies which can be even more impactful Uh, and which can help me achieve the final outcome right which is saving human lives and that's where what led to dozy so i won't say it's a really shift in the focus i was still working on the technology dozy is monitoring uh, health of uh, humans and helping it uh, save human life as well right so i am very satisfied the way in which things have happened for you lost your hand True. can you please share that tragic story and how you yeah. uh, came out of it this is almost 6 years back uh, so i live in bangalore i had uh, so i had taken dogs for a walk and one of them decided to jump into a lake and i saw that you know the dog is panicking uh, right deep into the water so i because you know i uh, his my dog right so i jumped into the lake without much thoughts uh, i saw a crocodile approaching the dog and uh, it was uh, quickly approaching so i came in between the crocodile and the dog uh right so dog is still uh, unharmed with us but i lost my arm in this entire tragic incident right so to a crocodile uh, had to literally fight a crocodile to come out of it then uh, and and the fight started just there because then i had to fight a pain because the nearest ambulance was nearly about 2 hours away i had to do a lot of things including calling my parents as well uh, that so that they should not panic when they hear anything about this incident in the uh, media or anything like that as well right so did a lot of right things over there uh, and thankfully you know i was 
uh, also saved even built a arm for myself as well right so so this arm that you see over here it's a prosthetic arm there are so many persons who lost their uh, arms or limbs which uh, they need the artificial limb which work according to their thought process having said that this technology does exist in the market right if you ask me is there not already something which is there there is you know my entire focus is on dozy and making this a great global company coming out of india proudly made in india for the world uh, but you know as this matures who knows right my next venture can be into that as well there are so many students who are excelling in their education but they are failing in the career so what the message you want to give to them so the message is very simple uh, you know so i'm i'm still you know uh, very young i don't consider myself a big success to preach anyone yet having said that maybe one thing that i can share is that you know everything in life is temporary so just be in the moment try to be there failure also is temporary uh, right so just be at it it will take time to just convert into a success just keep at it at the same time right when you are a success also remember that it's also temporary uh, so there is no point of getting ahead of ourselves when you are a success as well it's very important to remain grounded even during that time as well and ensure that you know you are in that moment enjoy that right and keep doing what you are doing the best జీవితంలో విజయాలు అపజయాలు రెండు కూడా ఉంటాయి అయితే వాటిని ఎదుర్కొని ముందుకు వెళ్తూ ఉండడమే మనిషి లక్ష్యంగా ఉండాలని చెప్తున్నారు ముచిత్ కెమెరా పర్సన్ నరేంద్రతో రమ్య ఇటీవీ న్యూస్ హైదరాబాద్